Hey everyone, it's end of October. It's been almost a week that we've had the 50 basis point rate cut by Bank of Canada. And I've received so many requests asking what will be the impact of this rate cut on Canadian real estate. Now, I really wish there was a simple straightforward answer. It's a bit more complicated, but of course, it's something that we can get into details and understand better. So stay tuned, let's go through the details. As much as we would all agree that interest rate drop supports the home price increase. But we will all also agree that uh, we cannot look at home prices in isolation only based on interest rate because there are four other critical factors we should also pay attention. One is economic growth. We should also be looking at the inflow of immigration or students. We should also be considering certain other factors like new home bills and then the fourth and important factor is how have been the home sales so far as compared to the historical trend. And we will get into details and try to see which one of these factors support home price increase or home price drop. Let's quickly talk about the economic conditions. There's a reason why Bank of Canada had a big rate cut. People have slowed down on spending. There have been job losses. The economy has been slowing down. And that's one of the reasons why we saw this rate cut. And as much as the rates are much lower than what they were earlier this year, they're much higher than what they were during pandemic times. So affordability is still an issue. So the two factors support the Canadian population is one is the immigration and second is student intake. And as we've seen early this year, Canadian government did drop the student intake by 35%, which impacts the rental market, which impacts the investors. And uh, on the other hand, recently M Minister of Immigration also announced close to 20% drop in immigration levels which is going to impact the number of people coming into Canada, which of course will impact the housing need. So while we're on this topic of immigration, we should also think of, uh, we had almost half a million people moving into Canada in the last two years. So it's a million people coming into Canada, 40% of them come to Ontario. New immigrants, right, when they move in, they need a few years to settle down, save some money, and then they would be looking to buy a home for themselves. So there's a natural delay our population growth will be not as aggressive as it has been in the past, but then people who are already here and settling down, they will definitely need homes. When we talk about home sales, there are two sources of inventory here. So one is the resale homes, the homes that already exist and people living in it, when they decide to upsize, downsize, they look to move, uh, they come up for sale. And the other source is new home builds. Because our population is growing, we have requirement for new home builds. And so far, as we all know, that uh, we've been struggling to keep up with the new home build demand. Now, unfortunately, because of interest rate hikes, builders have not been able to sell their inventory and they have started slowing down on their projects. We've seen almost 10% drop in new home builds since last year. Talk about one of the important factors we should be looking at is resale home sales. So I'll talk about uh, statistics here. In 2023, we had sales of a slightly above 65,000 homes sold in GT and surrounding areas as per TREB. And in 2024, we are end of October, but based on the numbers, it looks like we will be close to the number that we had last year or even lower. And this is the lowest sales since year 2000. We've never had these low number of home sales since the year 2000. And in 2000, our population was somewhere around 30 million people and now we are close to 41 million. Now, something does not look right here. And definitely when we talk about pent up demand, we do sense that there are a lot of people on the sidelines who are waiting for better affordability, interest rates to come down, economic conditions to improve so that they can get back in market. Because with this level of immigration growth and so low number of home sales, something does not make sense. And I definitely see this, uh, this is a potential of home prices to go up. Now, of course, it might not be as crazy as what we saw during pandemic. We will be back to how, what our historical uh, home price increase rate used to be. And we will kind of see those seasonal cycles again and things will kind of get back to normal. Hey, thanks for watching this video. Real estate is a long-term investment. You always have to have a long-term perspective with it and it always rewards people who have patience and who keep themselves updated with the market 
and are strategic about their investments. So if you're looking to buy, sell, invest and have any further questions or want to reach out, please feel free to leave a comment or reach out and I'll be more than happy to connect with you and have a discussion. Have a wonderful day. Thank you.